It's hair. Just cut it. It'll grow back. Yes, yes, I said it is here, so just cut it. Janine back with another tutorial, guys. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Remember to join, subscribe, everything. Let's 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 do this. All right. So I have my client here. She came big chop. And this is one of my favorite things to do, guys. Like I get so much joy in just cutting people here off. And it is what it is. Yes. So she found me on Instagram, like majority of my clients. She is totally natural. So I'm just going in right now and taking the bulk off the hair, the majority of the hair. This is what I call my pre-cut because I'm always going to go in afterwards and do some more cutting um, to her liking as far as the style that she has showed me. And I always just tweak it to do exactly what I feel is best for the face and everything like that. So here now you see me going in with the relaxer. I'm using Mazzani's Butter Blend in her hair and just going and working in that relaxer to make sure that the bonds is broken down but not extremely to where her hair is going to be bone straight. When that hair is broken down to be bone straight, there's no movement and you actually just kill that hair, like you over process the hair. So I'm not looking for her hair to be super straight in this process because we definitely want some volume and some body in her hair when we are done relaxing and here's my lovely assistant Abel gonna get her shampooed so she's back from the shampoo bowl got her nicely washed and rinsed out and if you guys can see that curl is still in her hair her hair is not born straight we're still gonna have a lot of movement in this hair and a lot of body once we are finished styling and cutting Right now I'm just doing a regular 90 degree cut throughout that bottom half of the hair. She actually wants to keep a nice swoop at the top of her hair. So we're gonna keep it with a little length at the top. So I'm just bringing all that hair to the front in the crown um, so I can get everything blended in. I'm going, you're gonna see me actually redirecting some of that hair going towards the back um, so I can make sure that the hair is keeping with the length in the front but still blending in with everything that we have cut at the bottom. I'm cutting everything on an angle. I'm just making sure that I give her some layers up there in the top. Nothing too, too heavy. And now we're gonna go ahead and mold her. Um, this is the most important part. I mean, outside of the cut, when you're ready to style this hair, if your mold has not been molded properly, it's gonna give you a lot more headache and a lot more work when it's come to um, the point of you styling this hair. So I've, I'll be molding my clients to the gods, okay? Like this mold has to be perfect for me. So I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna do what I gotta do just to make sure that that mold is down. She has a lot of hair in the top so I'm not gonna fully saturate her hair um, with the foam wrap because I don't want to spend have her spend extra time under the dryer firstly and the product is unnecessary to have all that product in in that hair with that length and it's also going to allow that hair to move freely once i'm um, finished with the drying process so anytime you put too much product in the hair you have to the, the hair tends to be a little heavy and we want that movement she spent about half an hour under the dryer, um, fully dried now. We're just gonna comb her out and I'm gonna do my final touches with my cutting. Going in with my Babyliss Clippers just to take out some of the bulk and some of the length um, from the back and the sides of her hair. Cause remember we are staying nice and long at the front. So we're gonna maintain the majority of that length. I'm lining her up with my Babyliss Clippers because we out here, we just golden. Golden with the clippers and the liners. Um, these are my favorites. So you're gonna see me just giving her some sharpness um, on the sides and the back. That neckline is always a thing for me. Like I like that neckline looking sharp. I'm just blending in the hair in the back um, and the front. 
my girl from at Michelle, Cindy, came to see me. I love when my stylist friends come and see me. I was so excited. But let's get back into this cut. So I'm going in the top now, and I'm just going to finalize putting some layers in there so we can get some nice movement, um, just evening it out as well. Because, um, you know, she's coming from a much longer um, setup here, so we got to make sure everything is even and flowing and nicely cut. So once we style that, you know, it'll be easy for her to manage and also um, when I'm styling it, just for everything to flow properly. I'm going in now with my Ash Day Wax Curling Wax. And um, the, this gives such a good shine. Um, it just allows the iron to move freely through the hair when you are curling. And it's just bomb. I, I truly love it. I'm going in now just giving her some nice curls. Nothing too crazy, nothing tight. We want this hair to flow um, just nice and easy. This is one of the easiest styles to maintain when we go really low on the back and the sides and just have enough hair so the client could actually maneuver it on their own. Um, sometimes those in-between lengths are a little challenging for clients to maintain, but this is one of the classic hairstyles where we have that swoop at the top, nice short and back. Um, back in the sides and it's just easy for them to get up and go they'll tie it down and just keep it moving for the day and just gonna go ahead and curl those are my H2O pros love that iron and basically everything is super repetitive um, as far as curling. Same thing I did on that side in the back. I'm just going to go to the next side and do it. Sometimes when you're curling, you have to, especially any anytime you cut, you know, when you're going through a curl, you may see little things here and there that you just want to, you know, enhance and tweak and make sure that it's, you know, everything's just flowing. I'm going in now and just softening up and giving her a nice bump. I'm not gonna go too tight with the curl in the top because we just we just want that hair to sit and flow. We're not trying to give her no granny curls. <laughs> I know everybody like the, the pin curls, that Betty Boop curls, and I love it too, but sometimes I just love the sleekness of a just simple bump in a pixie. Like it's, it just, it's everything. I'm just doing the same thing throughout the crown, not giving too much of a tight curl, just smoothing that hair out with the flat iron. And you can see that shine in her hair. So that curl and wax, literally, you can just see it melting into the hair. It's not too heavy. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting a whole bunch of product in the hair because at the end of the day, you want that hair to move. So I'm combing it out now, and y'all y'all can see, like, it's just, she's beautiful. This, this cut is just doing everything for her. Like, this was such a great style that she chose. And it's versatile as well. Like, you'll see that I'll show her that she doesn't just have to wear it directly in her face. She can pull it off her face and give it a little edge to it. and just have variety with this cut because that's the thing you don't want to cut your hair um especially when it's your first time this was actually her first time going so short so you want to make sure that she's able to do different things with it right now i'm just showing her that she can actually pin curl it at night um just at top so she can have it out the way it'll still keep a bump when you pin curl it when you have all that length that's like the best thing to do to maintain the hair in the night so I like to make sure that my clients know what to do through the process. And this is the finished look, guys. Tell me what you think. Look at that back. I love it. So thanks again for being here with me. Remember to like, subscribe, set your notifications. Stylish Chic is on YouTube.